Hi guys, it's been a long time coming, but I'm back out on the bike. Just a little overnight bike camp tonight. Nothing too far, probably 25 miles away or so. It's about 20 past seven in the evening at the minute. So just gonna make our way to camp. Keep your eyes peeled out for the giveaway that I announced a long, long time ago. Sorry about that. Uh, but I announced that at some point in this video, so your name will pop up. So enjoy. Where this has come from but it's just started absolutely bucking it down there's only one cloud up ahead they're smashing down refreshing but not expected but we are still going it's clear behind it so let's carry on carry on push on the miles get there before sunset and enjoy the views Roads are still pretty busy, not overly, but are a little bit. Nice wheel spin from around there, racing. But yeah, just gotta go meet a friend. You've seen him on a camp before last year. Let's get out on a lightweight baby camp again. Let's go. He should be here within the next five minutes. So nice bit of company and good vibes tonight. Here he is, secret squirrel. <laughs> Got a little cheeky bear. Yeah, here he is. Rocky <laughs> on the old Rocky Rock Hopper. Oh, I'm on the trust. I'm on the trusty Planet X. This is the Crow's Rock. Tempest. <sighs> nice vest on tonight. Boiling. Don't know what it is. 16 degrees. It's not actually boiling, but we're riding. It's a bit warm. Heading into the deepest, darkest cabin low. Ooh, back country lanes. Yeah, probably only about 10 miles away from where we want to be or so. Gonna have a beautiful view from the top of a hill. Stunning, oh, hello, nice tight corner. The gravel on, that should be sketchy. Yep, clip. And beautiful views of the sunset, hopefully. Hopefully it's a bit wispy cloud, not too much, but hopefully that clears. Right, got a hill to get up. Ooh, definitely the wrong here. We've got to stand off of the bird. Oh, he's checking, he's gone. Bit of side. Oh, that's better. Got the back. <laughs> Bruising the lanes. Shack wick. It's been a while since we've been out here. It's a bit of side. Arrow. Yeah. Why, isn't it? That's where we can. We've we pitched up there, right? Go to the beautiful countryside. Unspoilt. Sun is going down, but we should be able to make the sunset, but it's looking good. Let's have a quick, um, yeah. quick where you stop yeah. in nature's toilet. It does look a wee in the country. But yeah, let's, just fallen over. I won't put him in the mixer there. 
yeah, have a little guzzle of water, make our way. We're on the way to close to Blandford. We we're choosing between going to the Purbex, looking out to sea. Gotta love a camp on the seaside and looking out to the sea. But yeah, tonight I thought head inland, go up to the top of a very big hill that we know. So getting up it, it's mega steep. We've been up it before. Mega, mega steep. It is a right old push. But yeah, stop in Blanford, top up with liquids. So I've got loads of water because it's been warm all day. Be warm tomorrow. And make sure we hydrate all the time. Yeah, just cruising the country lanes, really. Still nice and warm, still sitting at 16 degrees. It is, what's the time? It is quarter to nine. So still probably got an hour and a half of light and then it's pitch black just after half 10. So sunsets about 10 o'clock, I think. But cruising along the lanes. Let's head on a little bit. We've got about another seven miles to Blanford. Grab a spot of water, like I said, maybe a little bite and then head on. This is my beauty setup. It's the Planet X Ti Tempest Titanium that you've seen many a time before. Standard tail fin on the back with my Kilos gear chair. It's a bit of a luxury on the back. Strapped on with our uh, black diamond ski straps. The old restrap large frame bag. It's got all the goodies in, tools, punch repair stuff. My Atticus bar bag, which just got a few little bits in gas bottle and stuff and the new redshift stem feels really comfy really really comfy i've got the seat post coming soon so i'm going to stick that on and see the difference it makes to the bike because making it a little bit softer would be nice it doesn't need to be but any comfort on long mileage kind of lessens the fatigue so let's get rolling just coming up to keenstone mill if you've never been there before Oh, just come up a hill gotta try it a beautiful place just down there it's all botanic gardens do their own perfumes lovely cafe there and all the menus fresh local stuff so you get a lot of stuff which is scented flowers in your dinner so i'd like a flower salmon risotto which is beautiful really really good place highly recommend that keenstone mill just between Shapwick and Blandford. Oh, flies in the eye. Oh, is that the Scott? Oh, yeah. So he's out. Georgie and Steve are back there. Whoa! Big hole there, don't turn right. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit of hiker bike here. Hiker bike through brambles. Bramble. Oh, this is steep. You're not riding up here. No chance. Tony and Georgie we've just met up on the way, they live out this way. Here's all the palisade. And another one breathing like a dead horse like me. Let's go. We have a standoff. A very large cow with a lot of baby calves. That hill is steep. That's a large one. Stay, stay still, boy. You stay still there. Hello, little babies. That's the mother. Hello. Hello. We got We get stampeded. We're nearly at the top. That is one hell of a climb. Oh. Tough old climb that on grass. Hello, Hello baby. <sighs> Especially people in bivy bags. 
<laughs> That's sweaty and stinky. <laughs> oh my word. 360 views all the way round, right at the top of the hill. Got a few cows to contend with tonight though. Let's see how that goes. All the way round. Hello Moomoo's. Little baby. They're going to run away if you go too close. Let's have a little zoom in. I'm on the wrong bloody... Yeah, you've got, you've got <laughs> to on, film this. Oh, hello. <laughs> Tony, you're next. <laughs> <laughs> he wants it. Oh. He's like, nah, nah I've, nah, I've seen him before. He's been up here before, I know him. We are parked up for the night. There's the parking spot, a bank. Let's get the Elan, Outkit Elan bivy bag out and set up. We found a reasonably flat spot. Oh, let's see that. You gotta see me. Whoa, that's blinding. Ooh. But yeah, found a reasonably flat spot. A few cow pats around, but they're pretty dry. Uh, get it pitched up and then chill out for a bit. Much needed jungle formula. Stop the old mozzies. That is the first thing going on. Here we are at camp. Steve O just prizing open a copperberg. We're celebrating with the copperberg. There's my bike, that's going to hopefully stop the cows from turning me into mash. I'm in the Outkit Elan Bivy tonight, beautiful. steve has got a new Planet X tent. Zastrugi. Absolutely. Zastrugi? Zastrugi. Zastrugi. Looks very much similar to like the Outkit Solarist, I think it is. Really tall, long entrance, but looks pretty good. Significantly cheaper at 40 quid. Way cheaper. 60% off, 110 reduced to 40, 39.99. There he is, he does love a bargain. He absolutely loves a bargain. Steve-O's specialised rock up like that has done about 400 million miles all around the world. It's gone everywhere, everywhere that thing. Bulletproof and the trusty Kilos gear chair goes everywhere with me. But yeah, let's have a little drink. Got a beautiful spicy noodles. It's amazing how Japanese how spicy good food noodles. When you've been fucking cycling them. Steve O's on the King Pot noodle. Mm. Spicy tomato. Got a few mackerel fillets. We should just pop in. But yeah. Just cooking them up now. Oh. Delicious. Mm. Big shout out to Wild Camping International for giving me this titanium pot before. For my French adventure, thank you very much for them. Yeah, get them cooked up nice and spicy. Get the fish in there, should be a delicious meal. Added the mackerel in there, delicious. Those Japanese noodles done, they were super spicy, really nice. I think I got them from BM one time when I was in there, really tasty actually. Um, yeah, had those, put some mackerel fillets in there and uh, there was some spicy chilli sauce. I had a copperberg, which was tasty to wash it all down. Got in the human body bag, the giant condom, help get Elan bivy bag, but yeah, that's really comfy. Got the Kilos gear pad in there as well, because I wanted to test that, see how cramped it was, because that's quite a thick pad, but I thought I'd give it a go in there tonight, because it's only a, a single overnight, it should be easy. A lot of bugs flying around, ramming down. I've got the white light on me. Um, but yeah, I think it's time for bed. It's a little after 11 o'clock. Uh, belly's full of warm water, uh, warm water, warm food. Um, get up nice and early for see the sunrise on a really high hill, which you would have seen the steepness of the climb as we got up here. But we'll show you in the morning. Hopefully, we get a glorious sunrise. So, see you in the morning. We're in bed. Not much room in here with the super. Thick pad, as you can see, I've got the keyless gear pad and there. I don't need much room anyway. Right, still, still a few inches up above my head there. Um, yeah, now the food's kicked in, that's kind of 
made me be a bit sleepy. But yeah, we're off to sleep now. Um, hopefully get a good night's sleep. This pad is super comfy because it's nice and thick, so should be. See you in the morning. Good morning. We are up. Oh, I is this thing in a bit? I think the father just came past on a quad bike. Which work is up. It's about six o'clock. So it's definitely time to get up. Lovely clear sky. Ooh. Slept quite well. Woke up a couple of times just to turn over. But yeah, I slept quite well. Right, time to get out for a pee. We are awake, fully awake. Beautiful morning, beautiful. As you can see, the sun is just over there, a bit blinding, but yeah, sun is up. A bit misty around, a lot of mist in the valleys. It wasn't too damp this morning, actually, which is surprising. I thought it was gonna be very wet, but pretty good. Tents and everything are dry. Good night's sleep. Woke up a couple of times, just turning over but instantly go back to sleep. That's the only thing I find with the uh, Biffy bag is as you turn over it, uh, excuse me. Sometimes you can wake up a little bit because you're just rubbing on it as you turn over, but that Kilos gear, Matt, super comfortable as always, but it is quite a thick one for there. So you are quite close to it. So I think I'll probably, if I'm going to do the Biffy camp, use the, the Catalan pad that I've used always uh, before I got the keyless gear one and use the keyless gear for everything else. It is super comfy. Oh, look at that for a morning. That is beautiful. Oh, all right, Pat. Beautiful morning. Can hear sheep in the distance? Loads of cows still over there. There's there's a mum there with one of her babies, but over the top of there, the farmer came past a minute ago, he said hello, he, he didn't even mind We're on his land and everything, he was quite happy. And he was talking about there's just over a hundred cows the other side, so we came past them all last night, which you would have seen, with lots and lots of babies. We had to stay quite clear of those. But stunning morning, stunning. Waking up to the bird song was lush. As always, there's our camp, Steve. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful morning. But yeah, time to have a little drink, stretch the legs a little bit. And then possibly on the way. Like I said last night, uh, I'm going to do the draw. Well, I was going to do the draw live here while I was here for the um, camp table, but the signal's pretty poor. So loading up the video to get all the link and everything wasn't right. So what I'll do is I'll cut away to that now. So we, here we have YouTube random comment picker. All I do is copy the video that it was the giveaway was from and paste that in the box, which will select the right video to get the comments from. Scroll down here and solve the sum, which is eight plus six, uh, which equals 14. Uh, great maths there. And get the YouTube comments, which is 34 individual comments, which excludes anything to do with my responses. 
And once I press start, it will select a random winner. So good luck. And Outdoor Adventure wins. So I will put all the details in the description of the video. If you'd be able to drop me an uh, email on that, I'll arrange either dropping it to you, if you're reasonably close and you fancy a camp, or failing that, I'll get it posted up to you as soon as possible. But like I said, drop me an email. I'll put all my de details in the description. Well done. So drop me an email, let me know all your details, and I'll get it posted out to you. Or if you're reasonably close, I may even cover your way of a camp if you fancy a camp. So, beautiful day. There's the other side of the valley. Stunning, stunning, stunning views. Right, let's get packed away. Oh, naturel. So run through my little sleep system, which was the Alpkit Elan Bivy. Super comfy. Kalos Gear sleep pad. Super comfy, perhaps a bit big for the bivy. It's a bit tight in there, but it wasn't too bad. And the sleeping bag I had was actually a super cheap one I picked up from Aldi, the Adventure Ridge, a couple of years ago. It's only 17 quid. Um, but it wasn't cold last night, so you don't need it. It's pretty good down to like 10 degrees, a bit lower maybe, but yeah super light cheap no frills and obviously the bike the beautiful planet x tempest titanium bit grimy bit dirty needs a good clean hasn't been ridden much the last few months right we are off the old steed is packed up ready to go that's where we camped last night. That's Stephen. Stephen, Stephen, Stephen. That's his rocky rock offer. Yeah, lovely little flat spot there. Just enough for the two of us. I was on a slight lean, but just squeezed two of us on there. As always, trace no leave. Sun is properly up now, so it is toasty this morning already. Beautiful. The mist out the valleys is starting to lift, so you can see a bit more clear now. Beautiful. Steve holds his head down here. Very steep. Brakes are probably brakes are probably be done by the bottom. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> rail trail. Straight on the rail, rail trail. Look at that. There's the old station, there's the old shilling stone. Yeah, I know. I went there for a coffee with Tony. Oh, never right. never been there before. Alright. Oh, we go past it. Yep. Here's the old North Dorset Railway. All parts of our vehicles. And shilling stone station, which you can stop here for a coffee, tea, cake, all run by volunteers. The old original station. It's a beautiful place. So if you're ever coming this way towards Blanford, Shillingston, really nice little coffee shop. And that carriage, you can sit in there, sit on the benches on the outside. Beautiful little coffee shop. Highly recommend. Morning. An original old Esso tank. 
That's it. Morning. Just cruising along on the old railway line. Whoa. Bit bumpy now and again from nowhere. Concrete slab. Yells us. Oh, cyclist. Cyclist up. Yeah. Beautiful morning. Three hour. Morning. There she is flying by. Beautiful morning. Steve in the background. Loving life. Loving life. Beautiful morning. Great sleep. It was great to be out. Great, great to be out. Neither of that's been a while. I've done a couple of counts, just haven't filmed anything. So, sorry for if anyone thought I'd vanished off the face of the earth. But work was busy, a few medical issues, but we're back on. A few gentle ones to start with, and then we'll see where we go from there. But off to Blanford now. Go and grab a cup of coffee, see a friend, and possibly grab some breakfast somewhere. Haven't had anything yet, but I'm not overly hungry. Had quite a late night noodle mackerel snack. So, yes, recharge the battery as well. Slender, slim, and beautiful to behold. Just arriving at our friends now for a lovely coffee or a cup of tea for Steve-O, he doesn't drink coffee. Just in Blanford now, just outside Bryanstone School. Back to civilization. <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Ridden up this hill a few times. It's a tough one on the road, boy. Right, we are here. Put these on the scale. Let me get a few donuts. Just cruising on home now. Back lane's probably got 15 miles to get home. Oh, like I said it feels brilliant to get out and about. Fully recharge the battery because we all work. We all need to de-stress from certain levels of stress and it's just felt good to get out and about. So, hope you enjoyed. It's been a nice camp. First of many now this year. And, oh, not, not entirely sure why. Start filming coming up to a hill. Good choice. But, hope you enjoyed. And, Again, congratulations to the winner of the, the table. Get in contact, drop me an email, let me know all your details. And like I said, I'll post it to you or I'll come up, do a camping trip with you if you fancy it. But if you don't, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. And 
have a good one. See you on the next camp. Bye.